Off the west coast of Lewis, in some of the wildest seas in the world, wave energy company Aquamarine Power has unveiled ambitious plans to develop what could become the world's first ever fully commercial wave energy farm. Using their oyster wave energy technology, they plan to capture the abundant energy in nearshore waves and transform it into clean, green electricity. The oyster wave energy devices will be located around half a kilometre from shore, in waters around 10 metres deep, and will be connected via subsea pipeline to an onshore hydroelectric generating plant. The oyster devices are simple, buoyant hinged flaps, which are attached to the seabed and pitch backwards and forwards in the nearshore waves. The machines are equipped with two vertical cylinders, each of which pumps high-pressure fresh water on both the forward and the backward stroke. This high-pressure water is then transported via a closed-loop subsea pipeline to an onshore power plant which uses tried and tested hydroelectric turbines to generate clean electricity on dry land. Each device is mounted on a piled foundation drilled into the seabed by a jack-up barge. The buoyant flap can be towed out to the wave farm using a conventional workboat and is then lowered down onto its foundation, a quick and simple process which can be reversed to allow easy removal as and when maintenance or replacement is required. Economies of scale can be achieved through connecting multiple devices via shared pipelines to a single generating station. This also helps even out the power fluctuations of the individual machines. The Oyster devices have a certified design life of 20 years. Aquamarine Power's site on Lewis has the potential to become the world's largest wave energy farm. The company's received all required permits and consents from the Western Isles Council and the Scottish Government to install up to 50 devices along the coast at their site near Fifepenny Borv on the island's exposed west coast. Aquamarine Power believes wave energy presents a tremendous economic opportunity to local communities, Scotland and the UK, and it has the potential to make a major contribution to the world's green energy targets.